Hey guys, JD here with the Kawasaki Ultra 310 Jet Ski. And today we're gonna be doing a short maintenance tutorial on repairing broken engine cover studs. I had one of these studs break and uh, it rusted out and the base completely looked like this. So this here rusted away and basically broke off. And again, this is something that likely, because I have an extended warranty, if I would have taken this into the dealer, the dealer would have repaired this. I didn't want to waste the time to take it in, so I just ordered this part myself. So if you do have one of these studs break, that part number is going to be 11053-3776. You can see, funny enough, it's made in Japan, so it's a decent quality bracket, but it's just not stainless steel. So first you got to get your cover off. There's some epoxy putty under each of these. And uh, this one, you could even see some of it hanging down there. See that? It's like a... There you go. You put a blob of that underneath each one of these. So what they did is they took these, pushed them through, and then installed a blob of epoxy. All right, so again, there's the part number. Here is that little base. And uh, you can see it's just going to go through right like that. So I'm going to use a product from West Systems. It's called G-Flex Epoxy. It's very good for uh, a variety of small repairs like this. All right, so this is the part that's being installed. Um, you can use a clamp. So I'm gonna use this little ring here just to tighten this in place while it's curing, okay? I don't wanna get epoxy on my good knobs, so. But if you'd rather use a clamp, you can use a clamp as well. So first we're gonna mix up our two-part G-Flex epoxy. So we're gonna use the G-Flex and then to thicken it up a little bit, I'm gonna toss some aerosol in there. And I'm gonna mix that up, mix that up right here for you guys. It's pretty easy to do. You know, we're just mixing a little bit of this, just enough to coat the top and the bottom of this, the bottom so it doesn't rust, right? So this here is just a pinch of colloidal thickener. You don't have to do that. I'm just, I'm doing it because I have it and I want this epoxy to be slightly thickened all right so here is my thickened epoxy so you're going to take your mount your stud mount right here and we're just going to put this epoxy on the base just like that and i'm going to coat the whole thing so that maybe that'll prevent salt water from getting on it you're gonna reach under here. And then while that's through, we're gonna take this uh, thumb nut here. And I'm gonna tighten that. So take some 80 grit sandpaper, roughen up the backside underneath this. I already did that, but you wanna roughen that fiberglass up just a little bit to give the epoxy um, some fresh fiberglass to bond to. All right guys, so I've waited 24 hours and now I've returned to remove this thumb nut that I put on here. And there we go. That is our new threaded stud reinstalled. So just to give you guys a recap, we have six studs from the new Kawasaki Ultra 310s and Ultra 160s. You won't have a seal like this. This is just, I just added this on my ski. But basically, these studs can break. And I had one break. The, the, the wadding of glue underneath and the stud just came right out. And uh, I would show it to you. I'm going to try to show a picture on the screen here. But the stud basically dissolved when it came out. And so luckily Kawasaki sells those. I was able to buy one and reinstall it. And they do appear to me to be stainless steel. The stud itself is stainless steel. The little bracket that you saw, that is not stainless steel. And I can tell you because the previous one that was here dissolved. So anyway, this should be good to go. All fixed now. You could put your engine cover back in place. All right, so 
with that new stud in place, we can now securely attach our engine cover to the ski. And uh, yeah, luckily that wasn't too expensive to replace. All right, so my engine cover is securely back in place. If you haven't checked them out, check out my video on these Cowie Performance 316 stainless steel engine cover knobs. They, uh, they're awesome and they do a great job of holding the cover in place. I hope this video is helpful on easily repairing any broken engine cover studs you may have. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more exclusive jet ski content only on JD's Waterworld.